Rick Santorum was debating health care on CNN, and uh, he sounded so ridiculous that he made the usually vanilla corporate hosts sound like geniuses. What's also different from seven years ago is that you're taking things away from people. Right. You know, yes. when you were passing Obamacare, you were giving them essential health benefits. Mm -hmm. You were giving them mental health coverage, drug addiction coverage, maternity coverage. And people have gotten used to that. And so to your point about the, you know, people are going to learn what's in this, that now you are taking away. And in my experience covering politics, there are no conservatives when it comes to your own family's health care plan. Right. Everybody wants as much coverage as they can possibly get for their family. So even if you're conservative and even if you're ideologically conservative, and you know this because you've run for election, that people aren't conservative when it comes to insuring their children. I, but I couldn't disagree with you more. Look, Republicans are feel much more confident in the market and people's ability to buy the insurance they want mm -hmm. as yeah. opposed to the insurance that the government's making them buy and making them pay a lot of money for it. That's the big difference. You say, oh, people right. want this and they want that. Someone's paying for it. Except and for Americans are figuring more. out it's them. No, no. And, they can't and, you know, they, because, because of those subsidies, they were... Uh, well, who they, pays they were for the support. subsidies? We all well, do. we know who paid for it under this bill, which were people who were doing very well. So there's a trillion dollars of tax cuts coming for people who make over $200,000 a year. So we're giving tax breaks to very wealthy people to take uh, some of these benefits away uh, from uh, working and, people who, who needed the help. And, and I don't think that's a very good political equation. I appreciate the orthodoxy of the markets, but health care is not like a car or any other commodity. Health care is life and death. And you know what? We've made a decision in this country. We're not going to let people die. So now the emergency rooms in all these well, areas are going to be don't start. with Emergency people. room visits are up under Obamacare, not down. Giving people insurance is not the same as giving people health care. I know this is often interchanged among Democrats. They say, oh, we're giving you health care. No, health insurance is not health care. In fact, you, you, there have been many studies done that people under Medicaid actually have poorer health outcomes than people without health insurance. So there's oh, all sorts. Of, no, that's true. No, it's not. In fact, it's one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard in my life. What studies are you talking about? By the way, if indeed those studies exist, they're uh, exactly like the studies that show that, oh, climate change isn't happening. <laughs> what happens? Usually it's who's funding it. It's usually the, you know, big oil, fossil fuel industry, ExxonMobil, because they have a vested interest in making people think that. Now, when it comes to Medicaid, he really argued having no insurance is better than having Medicaid. Oh, my God, that's so stupid. But who would fund a study like that? I don't know. The private health insurance companies who want more money and are maybe trying to make poor people forego uh, Medicaid and instead pay them more of their money to go to private health insurance. By the way, we covered the story the other day. Uh, the for-profit private health insurance companies released a, a chart which showed, hey, this is exactly where all your money goes to. And they did this to try to quell fears about, you know, just how much they're price gouging us. Uh, now, in that chart, it showed 80% of the money that goes to private health insurance companies uh, ends up going to health care. The remainder goes to overhead. So 80% for care, 20% for overhead. Now you might say, hey, that's pretty good. But guess what? Number one, it was an Obamacare rule that made them spend 80% of it on health insurance. I, excuse me, on health care. And now they're, they're like bragging about it. <laughs> like they chose to do it. No, before it was even less. But Obamacare made them spend 80% on actual health care. But furthermore, what percentage of Medicare goes to actual care, so the government program, 94%. Only 6% goes to overhead. So Medicare is just more efficient, period, period. Now, Medicaid, I haven't seen the numbers for Medicaid, but I'd venture to say it's a lot closer to what the Medicare number is because they're both government programs. So, and we, they just had the town hall the other day on CNN. Tom Price, the Health and Human Services Secretary, was being asked questions. And there was a guy in the audience who said, Medicare saved my, excuse me, Medicaid saved my life. Um, I can, I 
was able to beat my cancer and treat my cancer because of Medicaid. If I didn't have Medicaid, I would have gone bankrupt or I would have died and not been able to get the care that I needed. And Rick Santorum is out there arguing <laughs> people have worse health outcomes on Medicaid than if they had no insurance at all. Not only is that wrong, it's actually dangerous what he's saying. And there's also been other studies. So the, the red states, there are a few red states that rejected the Medicaid expansion under Obamacare. In those states that rejected the Medicaid expansion, thousands more people died because they didn't have access to any health care because they weren't insured by Medicaid. So he's arguing for something that would that literally has it will either bankrupt you or kill you by saying just don't have any health insurance instead of fucking going to Medicaid. That is crazy, man. That is nuts. And then th as a, the final point I want to make here is he said, well, Republicans are just much more confident in the market. And that's why we don't like Obamacare, which he pretends is like some sort of socialist uh, Medicare for all system. It's not. I wish it was. It's not. It's a very free market oriented system, unfortunately. But he says, well, the Republicans are much more confident in the market. But he says it as if this is what Republicans always do on this issue, on economic issues. He says that as if we've never tested his idea. Like, well, we've always had this liberal idea in place and we've never had the Republican idea in place. That is the system that we had before Obamacare was the most free market system. And guess what? That's what led to all the problems. That what led that's what led to 45,000 people dying every year because they didn't have access to basic health care. That's what led to 40 million, 50 million people uninsured. That's what led to the record high prices. Obamacare, they like to say Obamacare, premiums have gone up under Obamacare. They go up all the time. And Obamacare cut the increase in, per, in, uh, in your premiums. So in other words, if a chart's going like this, Obamacare made it go like that. And <laughs> I feel like a wrestler doing some sort of, sort of thing here. But uh, Obamacare cut the increase in premium costs. And they, he makes it seem like Obamacare you know, is responsible for the premium increase. No. So we've tried your shitty free market idea, and David Axelrod is right there when he says, it's just not like other markets. It's not like a car. It's not like video games. It's not like a couch. It's not a, con a consumer market in that sense. Healthcare is life or death. And there's a reason why literally every other modern nation has decided to have a single-payer system, one version or another of it, and we're the only one that doesn't have it. And look at that. We pay more for health insurance and health care, and we get worse results, and we cover fewer people. So this idea of, like, oh, we just trust the free market, but we've tried your idea, and you are wrong. It is it's factual. It is objective. It is empirical to say when your ideas are implemented, the outcomes are worse because we had your ideas implemented and the outcomes were worse. Jeez, man. Look, I don't get... CNN loves to do this. Hire 93 fucking crazy people and 93 somewhat kind of sane people, but not really because they're kind of vanilla corporate tools. But... And then debate. You know, like... Okay, but what if the issue you're talking about is not debatable? Like your CNN, you should be talking about the actual facts on healthcare. You should be talk you should have a segment like a Fareed Zakaria segment for example, where oftentimes he he'll go through like facts and say, "Hey, here are the numbers, this is what's happened in our economy, this is what's happened in the economy in Denmark, here's what they do better, here's what we do better, yada yada." Like you're supposed to give information, your CNN instead you're debating it and you're presenting Rick Santorum's viewpoint as if it's legitimate, as if it's like half the picture. Like, well, some people say that we should improve our healthcare system, and Rick Santorum says we should fucking make it catastrophic and tank it further. Like, that's the real conversation that's happening. Dude, Rick doesn't realize that he's monumentally, colossally, insanely wrong on everything he's saying there. But when you present it like it's a debate like this, you're doing a disservice to the audience. Like, that's something, what you saw there is more of a conversation for, like, a show like Real Time uh, with Bill Maher on HBO. Where, yeah, it, it's... It's not supposed to be just a news show, so bring on the people who, you know, you can have a debate, even if one side's wildly wrong. But for a fucking news channel that's supposed to give information and data, and you, you present this wildly misleading debate, like, that debate is honestly no different than having a debate between creationism and evolution. That's what that was. It just feels like it's different because some people don't know that the answers are very conclusive on healthcare. 
But that's what it is. You're you're presenting people that that picture. Okay, is it creationism revolution? Debate it. Is climate change happening or is it not happening? Debate it. Those are misleading. You, those debates are settled. You shouldn't be having those debates. You should be giving people information as to why evolution is true, creationism is false. Give people information as to why single payer systems are preferable and correct and the other ones are wrong. You have to give the information on why climate change is happening. It's a fact and the deniers are wrong. So, but no, they, instead they present it like this, and it drives me fucking crazy because they're not doing their job. There's a place and a time to have those debates and those discussions, okay? Here's not one. When you're CNN, you're supposed to be given information, and instead, you, you're giving airtime to a guy who just fucking argued it's better to have no insurance than have Medicaid. There aren't enough palms in the world for that face.